morning and uh, thank you for keeping it Citizen Television. We really appreciate your time and company this Tuesday. We begin our social hour and uh, this is where we usually have discussions that help you become a better social being. And this week, actually, we want to talk about in case you're dating or you're married, the question we're asking this morning, actually, you're in a relationship or you're married, do you need to have a best friend of the opposite sex? or a prayer partner. Na yo natumia nikieka quotes because it has brought a lot of controversy in so many relationships. You have a boyfriend and apparently your boyfriend has a female best friend or your your husband has a female prayer partner. Imeleta shida sana. Hata wanawake, wacha nisiseme wanaume ndio waseme, "Oh, naona wanaume." Even ladies, you have your wife and apparently your wife has a female best a male best friend or a male prayer partner. And that's why I have a panel of eminent persons. Morning. But then comes out like a fitty royal color. Hey, Sema. Hey, Yambi, Yambi. We didn't see you come on at a kaiso vibe. Hey, isn't it? Una jo purple is royal, so maze una kafiti. Thank you so much. Meiva mbaya. You look good too. The ladies are taking it well. Ni kama mi na Bobby tu liko na memo maani. But so big up my dad, of course, I could look up to him like a kawaii, Mr. Josh. Nice. Hey, nice. Great. 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 You know, I was just imagining. Can you imagine? Kuna mtu leo asubuhi ameamka na hii ni issue yake ukweli. Like let's be real. Na lazima aende akae kwa desk kwa ofisi mpaka 5. Alafu tena jioni ya resume tena argument. Eh baje. Wacha na teseka huko. Unakuambia. Wacha teseka safi. Uko in a relationship. A serious relationship. Wacha na ile mnaanza anza. You are dating you are seriously in, in mm. dating like mko advanced stages mm -hmm. like meamua mna mna date or you are married mm -hmm. na mtu wako akona prayer partner mwenye ama akona best friend and mm. they, you know they spend so much time together <laughs> me how 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 you know <laughs> is, it, is it is it okay to be jealous of a prayer partner I mean mtu wa mama kiti safi hata ni kwambe kitu moja prayer partner mm. unamuombea nini na mimi ndo najua shida zake zote mimi ndo najua mimi na Mungu ndo tunajua uh, we know all know. his problems mm. first of all so wewe unakujia wapi kwa hii nini wewe ni prayer partner because of why mimi naishi na yeye <laughs> najua shida zake zote najua everything about him so unless kuna biashara nyingine inaendelea hapo mimi ndo nafaa ni kwa prayer partner wake mimi ndo namuombeanga kila asubuhi actually namuombea asubuhi na jioni na Mungu mimi na Mungu ndo tunajua nini shida <laughs> Zaki. Sasa huu prayer partner anamuombea kama huu, no, no, anajua no, shida gani. What if we limit before wewe? Actually, it is through those intense prayers eh. that wewe ukatokezea uko kwa pato kwa mbe safin. Mimi... Or you could be the problem. The <laughs> <laughs> safin, wacha ni kwa mbe kishumoza. Mimi mambo ya prayer partner, best friend of the opposite <laughs> sex, I don't really get it. Because, mm -hmm. leza kuwa tumekuwa till na be wangu alafu ati ananiambia ati best friend yake anampigia i am your everything what are you talking about i'm your prayer partner i'm your best friend i'm your wife i'm i'm your oxygen mimi ni kila kitu unaenda kutafuta hizi vitu zingine huku because of why Ah oh, watu wengine by then wajua hiyo kitu ni very serious because naona ngawa sio kusema actually i have a best friend ati mimi cute niko na best friend boy hapa and I have a husband. Uh, imagine, mm -hmm. at your story, a prayer partner, because una, unapata most of the time, utenda puki spend more time na best friend, utenda puki spend more time na prayer partner. So, at every time, na kuni dutaniambia, hey, tuko na prayer partner, hey, tuko na best friend. And I'm like, Z, mm -hmm. unafakuwa uki spend time na mimi. Actually, utapata, and I make more time for the prayer partner or for the best friend, kuliko, venya na make time for me. Mm -hmm. And, mi kenye na believe ni ati, be wangu anafakuwa best friend yangu. Like, tunafakuwa mabili. BFF yani sisi ndio tuko tight mbaya kama uko na nguri yote ananipigia simu mimi ndio mtu wa kwanza anafaa kuambia but kama anapigia ambie prayer partner ndo amuombe na mimi hata sijui saa hizo imagine kuna nguri yenye go through 
Asha piga prayer partner na memwambia ni aje cheki. Ebu to let's pray about this. Na mi si juu isa hizo. I think neza feel like a third wheel. Ama neza feel like third party. Mi neza ni affect maya. Neza kwa tu. Mi I don't like sharing by the way. You don't share. You don't share. You don't share. Watcha ni kuja isi. You don't share. Kama ni prayer partner. Yo badu ku share. We are sharing time. Hindi te mwenye anafakuwa ki spend na mimi na na spend na wewe. Ati jumu nenda kuombea shida zake. Sometimes I neza kosa kushika simu juu kwa na wewe. Kwa ni mi si juu kuomba. Safiri kwa unasema si juu kuomba. Wewe. Tunawaona sana. Kuna shida na maongi. Safiri unatetea maongi leo. Si ishi dae nakaya. Ishi dae nakaya wa kristu. Si juu kama wa muslim so neza relate na ishu kama ishu. After ni tumei open up. Their partner, best friend. Kila. We're trying to say. If you're in a relationship or you're, you're married or, or you have a very serious, you know, yeah. uh, relationship with someone, is your person allowed to have somebody who is very close to them of the opposite sex for whatever reason? Yeah. Work or best friends or they are colleagues, but they are so close, prayer partner, do you? They are so close. Is it allowed? And what impact does that have in your relationship? She done in Nairobi. Nairobi. <laughs> Answer yangu ni very diplomatic. Mina nijua tu. Kwa sabu hizi. Sipa ukweli. Kutashida na kuomba. Wacha niseme. Hizi vitu ni possible. Shida ni wase hawataki kufika ile level ya awareness that they are able to make these relationships like work. Like I don't know maybe let me ask you let me hypothetically. If I was besties with your man, mm. do you think you never need shuku? When you unani juwa say, when you see any friends, when you uh, uh, in this <laughs> right <laughs> now, God, that was CG. Apa mambo ina kujemu? Was CG ni wasali kwa sababu, you know, it's just okay. Iyo ni different to see any friends yeah. unani juwa. Iyo situation ina za kwa uju your best yeah. friend. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the point I'm trying to drive across is, it's just about maturity, communication. Mm openness, transparency, kama watu wange kwa for real wana show up authentically in their relationships, then these things would be able to work out. But because tuko kwa i saizi dating scene iko sneaky, mtu wako ukimposta na nyakuliwa, wacha hata prayer partner, iyo ni kutake it too far. Ukioneka na tunaye one CV, kesho, madem wa shari uka kwa DM kuuliza maswali, ama maboy wa shanza kuuliza. So it's just about you know, it's 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 Nico kind of in the middle because really I wouldn't imagine my dad telling my mom at the eh mama Roberta, you mean chill na bestie wangu. I'm at the my bestie is calling me and he's going to hang out with another girl. Mm. That seems so awkward. But then I'm a big believer that when people are able to contain themselves, have mm. transparency, have amazing communication, if because you can't really control what someone does, mm. even outside of the time you spend with each other. Mneza discuss up mseme atutaki story kaizo, hakuna mambo za besties. Lakini ya kitoka hapo, utajuaji ya nafanya nini? Utajuaji ya kwa hapi? Hata kama wamesema wanaenda kuomba. Utajuaji. So it's just about engaging with people who are able to show up in relationships and they know they know the the weight that being honest in relationships carries mimi personally i'm all for relationships that thrive even mm. friendships but kufika kwa point yenye ni najua watu hawako hapo bado watu hawajafika hiyo point bado yenye wako willing kusema this is my friend first of all how mfichi Come on, best yako. I'm not with the friend of the family. Let your prayer partner, bestie, whatever. Let them come around. <laughs> let let the whole family know them. See, it's a two two. Una jito anga ti ni men of chill na cuti wapi. Muna na kuchill wapi. Stack is a story. So it's just about. Are you people able to be transparent in your relationships? Are you able to show up as yourselves? Are you able to be very, very honest? As long as there's some kuna kitu na fitwa, some sneakiness, then there can never be such relationships. Haita work. Hata hai make sense. Can you imagine you're a married woman and you're going to chill with me? Bestie. Mm. Bestie. It's not even about me being insecure. <laughs> yeah. It's just about if That's they're really your sense. friend and mm. it's open and it's I, I a want, good relationship. I want us to look at... Um, your key concerns, uh, mm -hmm. QT, like, nini nini neza kwa compromised, ama nini mm -hmm. inafanya such kind of an arrangement <coughs> so unwelcome in mm -hmm. a stable relationship or a marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Safin, you're spending quality time with this person. Let's let's just be realistic. You're spending quality time with this person called bestie or prayer partner or whoever. Una spent time 
maybe gifts. money, gifts, nini, una get. <laughs> Isn't it vitu zenye? Personally, I feel like I should be doing that with him, not him doing it with another person. He can have friends, he can have female friends. But this particular best friend or prayer partner, we, we don't do that over here, by the way, because my main concern <laughs> is, in Afikanga point, let's let's be realistic sisi ni binadamu inafika ngapo point tawe mwenye unaanza kukua na hizo feelings towards them <coughs> na inaweza kuwa unaweza jiambia tu ni feelings za friendship za nini but inafika ngapo point unaanza ku rely on that person you feel like you cannot even do without them unajipata ta instead of calling your uh, your significant other you actually calling this person mimi nimekuwa kwa hiyo situation <coughs> ambapo na kolum say instead ni call boy wangu mm. niko tu na call umse hata nikitaka siji kwenda wapi na piga umse it's, it's easier to actually talk to them rather than talk to your person so if your person is not your best friend then that's a red flag already cuz unafakuwa as open as possible with your partner hizo vitu zote unaambia prayer partner my best friend you're supposed to be doing that and Yani me of course I'm gonna be jealous come on na eh hey, tunadanganyana of course tunakuwa jealous unakuwa <laughs> jealous hey, na mtu wapo nakuwa jealous mbaya kwanza bibaya tena sana because they say this acha tupe a very good example eh Mungu msichana wa Mungu amekosea hapo ngwambie sasa hizi my mom ye kwa gana mbuzi hapo home <laughs> ye ufidizi mbuzi every morning yani religiously my mom ataamka afidizi mbuzi december tunafanya nini <laughs> december <laughs> tumefanya nini tumekula hiyo mbuzi my friend una mbea na na shuka kwenye kama walking stick because of watu sidanganyane please to sidanganyane ati wewe uko na best friend of the opposite sex you spend time with them sijui umetoka hapo mmeenda road trip na yeye sijui umetoka hapo mmeenda maombi na yeye hapana cheki mimi ndio kila kitu wako brother like just sit down take a seat tukunywe chai ama ni coffee ama whatever i am your everything and you do not need this other person i said you can have what was in get wrong you can have your female friends mm. over there sawa but kusikwe na ati mambo ya special ati prayer partner ati cg best friend because of why honestly mm. safin mimi mtu anieleze tu aniambie huyu best friend ama prayer partner ni wakazi gani nimesema kama ni maombi si mimi ni bibi yako mimi ndo nafaa ni kuombe i take care of you <laughs> najua food denye unapenda najua kenye unapenda kukula najua nini uko make happy nini uko make sad mimi ndo niko hapo for that so tukianza kusema hii story ya prayer partner na wasi wengine acha ni show actually uh, i was with a very good couple jana na walikuwa wanasema wao walikuwa kama besties so they used to be besties huyu ndo alikuwa namwambiaaga eh hey, cheki yule demu unajua unafaa ku date demu nini nini sasa hizi waangalie washaoana kwanza wamefanya mpaka wedo alafu unataka kuniambia u best friend mama best walienda kawani mama best sasa wamekuwa mpaka wanaishi kwa nyumba walifanya wedo church wedding na ni very young couple wako pamoja wanapendana so nilikuwa nawaangalia hivi na cheka anasema hii hey, mambo ya u best yenyewe ni serious by the way na hakuna vile hata hiyo saa sita za usiku ama nini ati huo best ata call mtu wangu saa sita za usiku atia kwa kwanguri mm. imagine saa sita za usiku amempigia na unexpect mtu wangu ndio anaenda kumtoa kwa hiyo problem apigie mtu wake amtoe kwa hiyo nguri huu ni mtu wa mind mm. na mimi nakuwa gana rules by the ikifika time fulani tukishengi kwa hao ni nini nini au mabeste wako ndio ongea naye baada ini time yangu ni quality time family me and you i know it, it sounds selfish i know it sounds absurd but sasa hivi tumefika tumefunzwa <laughs> lessons ika nairo <laughs> ati ati best friend best friend wapi wewe unisikia wapi eh umeongea kweli so roberta wewe ndio unaongea kuhusu hiyo level of maturity kwa nafaka kwa wamefika maturity gani ti maturity wapi is it possible to apply hiyo maturity kwa hizi easy friendships to the level that isifike uko kwenye kiti anasema like uone huyu mtu kama friend yako ujue uko na bibi but at the same time uko <laughs> <laughs> mature enough to know the boundaries so that you don't cross those boundaries because yeah ndo watu waelewe kwa nini watu wako na best friend it's possible to have a best friend and a prayer partner imeleta shida imeleta shida hii issue you know i like everything kitty amesema kwa sababu she's communicating her boundaries mm. effectively she's saying I, i need one two three whether it sounds absurd to you like mm. this is my standards yeah. this mm. is what i like for myself and that's maturity also that's mm. the level of communication and transparency naweza chukia sana mtu mwenye haagree na vitu cutie anasema akianza kumkatia kwa sababu atamtesa 
Sasa so imagine una unaingia kwa nyumba ya kitu unaanza ku pick calls at midnight. Muta fight daily sasa kwa what? <laughs> si wewe uende tu dem mwenye na accept hizo mm. vitu ama ende acha ni mwenye ako sawa na hizo vitu. Na hiyo ndo level yenye na mention. It doesn't we don't have to agree on everything and also uh, last week we were talking about compatibility and mm. stuff. Mm. Saying so, someone can be an amazing everything. They're an amazing lover, they're mm. perfect, they're everything. But muna disagree kwa compatibility. Mm. Mko tu, mko poa, lakini ya mko poa pa moja. Mm. Ni yo kitu moja hamu agree on. So unawana kama mko na yo level of communication. Ata si lazima mfike mbali. Easy discussions itakuwa squashed by the time mm. they are coming up. I already know, am I willing to be in a relationship with someone who has a partner? And these are very, very valid reasons for walking away from a relationship. It's just the same as financial status, emotional intelligence. If you feel like your partner is not intelligent enough to carry this relationship, you're allowed to walk away. In as much as they might be kind, respectful, everything that you need, kama hakuelewi, mutaelewana sangapi. Ita kwa wewe kila siku una try kumconvince aruke isaidi yako. And if you guys are just not compatible, it just won't work. So it, it's very achievable. But then again, we have to factor in things like what Cutie said, we're human beings. Feelings crop up from anywhere. You can be friends with someone for 10 years in the 11th year, mnanza feel, eh, something, something, na come. Or you guys could be real friends. You guys could be real, real honest friends, and then a moment of vulnerability crops up. Yeah. It's just about the communication, the honesty, despite whatever might happen, despite whatever. Now, if you're actually emotionally intelligent, these things you don't put yourself mm. into intentionally. You're able to gauge, you're able to say, I'm aware feelings might crop up. I know. Mm. This, it's normal. If you're hanging out with someone all the time, mm. doing things together, spending time, gifting each other, emotions ita come. Ata kama si romance, mm. ineza kwa lust, ineza mm. kwa care, ineza kwa... Just a general, moment of, a yeah. moment of vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. Let's call it that. Yeah. <laughs> we have to, we have to be able to acknowledge. Yeah. But, but then, on the same breath, you also have to understand that you can't be everything for one person. You mm. can't. Ata utakeni. Can you can you love somebody in in isolation in in, in a vacuum? Sasa juu ni mtu wako, sasa tu mkate from the outside world. No, no, no. You are every, baka umesema you are his oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me ndi oxygen. Is it even possible? But ni mesema, unajua mtu in isolation. Ni pena disclaimer ni kasema, aneza kuwa na female friends. I do not have a problem with that. Juu, ata kienda job, ata mini kiwa hapa job. Watu wenye nafanya job nao, wenye nafanya show nao, wate wawili ni maboy. Una get? And we hang out. After show, tunenda tunakula lunch, tuamaliza, but at the end of the day, ndarudi wapi mtaani, una get? So here's the thing about iyo story ya kukua na best friend ama prayer partner. At the end of the day, mi nikikwal Roberta, nikimtumia voice notes, nikimtext, na kwa ganidi. Na nidigi Roberta na mwambia shida zangu zote na mbe, eh, by the Roberta pando ni ile story mefika, you get? Na mwambia by the way, tanataka tu ni kuje, kwa kwa ni kai, tupige tuwa, tutulie. Hizi ni sasa zile friendships za kawaida. Hizi ni zile friendships za kawaida. But you see, at the end of the day, I am needy. Na nid Roberta, na nid kuenda ku hang out na yeye, there's something I'm looking for. So, na nid wanna try kukama hapa kwa hii relationship ya, kwa hii sasa. At the end of the day, whether it's Roberta, whether it's you, Safina, Ipoli, or kuna kitu na need kutoka kwako. At the end of the day, tuswa hida nganyana, whether it's your brother, your mother, your father, kuna kitu na need kutoka kwake. Iyo tu ni kitu enye tumika mkukula nku accept at this point in life. So, imagine your best friend, if I do that with Bobby, and I'm so needy, na mwitaji, na Bobby yaki kosa kureply, nini yangu wata nezampigia, ni mwambecheki, ebu reply your voice note, ni mekutumia hapo, na you need urgently. Kuna venye tu unatakanga mtu wa reply, mtu wa kwe hapo. So, ukona u best friend, mwenye ni female. Sinde wako na mtu wako, lakini ukona u best friend. Who best friend ana kukol? Ana need your time, ana need your attention. Maybe ana kuambia kuna boys, jua li fanya nini, aku wapo mekupatia story, ana need your time. Na probably at that particular moment, ajui nini mekwe kendele hapa. Probably we're in the middle of a heated conversation. Ama tutuko tukwa space yetu, ama tuko kwa hau, anafanya homework na watoi or whatever case it is. So ya mepiga, otaku niambia 
hata mpatie hiyo attention hata mpatie hiyo time mm. so for me i feel like tukianza kufika hapo ndio naanza kufila pana history of best friend cause ako needy at some point either financial needs that ampigia mwambeni azi eh si ni saidia na 10k that's what friends are gently <laughs> that's what friends are for acha mimi sasa hizo za pigia bobi ni mwambeni aje bu ni eke ta utano sai 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 niko kwa ngori i need that 5k but ukumbuke pia mimi niko ina relationship na umsi pia mimi nampigia na mwambia ni aje mtumie ta 10 na ikuwe tu ametoka kutumia wao best friend ta 10 na mimi naitajio ta 10 una check pia situations zenye tunajiweka in so what i'm trying to say this best friend or peer partner wako na needs zao emotional financial mental na mwambia mimi hata siko in a good mental space na kuhitaji kuje unitoa stress zangu kuje tu nikize guys by the way nikwambie ita drain um say na utapata hizo hiyo attention yote ameanza kuipeleka kwa best friend ama kwa prayer partner na hiyo attention anafa kwa kipeleka pale so what if you prayer partner ama best friend mm. ame ana keep your relationship going take it and take it and I'm advice believing hiyo kitu ya ati ati pale ati ule side chi kama msendi ana keep your relationship going kama your relationship haiezi ji fuel enough mm. ikwe tu going wacha ikae by the way me i'm a strong believer in that like kama tuna need ku rely on your best friend no relationship kwa nini cheki wewe bff by the way mimi mimi sipendi ati hiyo mambo ya kushare nini kama ni mbaya ni mbaya tukae chini tusote ngori zetu aende kwa maboys wake kwani asiende kwa maboys wake siende kwa maboys wake waonge venye au waonge anze kwambie mimi mama by the way amenichatishia jana una get maboys chalo naomba mama anakwaga au anakwaga tu hivyo anakwaga special you get my point but if you have a best friend always you join trust ule best friend ule best friend anaweza kwa tu akithrow in some comments na si ati yako na ubaya anaweza throw in some comments tu aseme ah wewe si unajua mama wako tu anawaga tu kichwa ngumu hiyo ni comment yenye ame throw na probably wewe ndio uliwahi mwambia kitu kama hiyo so akianza tu kukuchocha hivyo na si ati anakuchocha intention atakwambia wewe si ulishakubali kukaliwa by the way so wewe mm. pambana na hali yako you see such kind of things for me i don't find them na mimi nimekuwa kwa hiyo situation that is why saizi niko mature enough to communicate to my person and say cheki mimi mambo ya my best friends hapa ni nini fine you can have your friends but hii mambo ya my best friends ako needy ako sijui nini mnonga kwa simu like mm. an hour we so, are not okay, doing that just yeah. to get something clear you okay akiwa na mabeshi eh, of the opposite sex eh, friends but kusikwe na kale ka special kale ka special atika kwa nidi nidi hapa eh atika nampigia simu atika mu nichenchie taya ni saa sita za usiku please kuja kwangu kuja kwangu urgently maze like size in askia tu niko na stress mimi upigia bobi na mwambia eh we need to get together sit down mimi na nitu kurant una get so vitu kama hizo even me i'm needy but i have my bobbies i have my friends as female friends I do that with them but nikikuwa na best friend boy imagine tafanya hizo vitu zote na na feelings zinaanza na bobi amesema vizuri inaweza kuwa nikea inaweza kuwa tu nikea ama tu kukuwa tu needy ako hapo alafu mse wangu ako pale nafikiri mse wangu anasikia fiti sana nafikiri mm-hmm. tu anasikia tu fiti ako tu pale anajua ule dem anaenda kwa ule boy anakuwa needy kwani mimi siwezi mfanya hizo vitu zenye anafanywa na huyo boy mm-hmm. that's just my opinion but we are not doing best friends in a hey, relationship hey, hey, hey. kwa relationship no, tatufanye but the issue like unaweza penda mse in isolation i also want to hear your thoughts on that and what are some of the safe boundaries if we are to say okay fine akwena mabeshti what are we what are we looking at practically how mabeshti wanafa kwa which boundaries ndio ujue this is a safe friendship here interfere na hii relationship unajua nimekumbuka kitu last week au wasichana wawili This lady is called me out for going on lunch to lunch with a friend of mine. With a best friend. With a best friend of mine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And my man was complaining. Yeah. Ili kaleta issue sana nyumbani. Mpaka nikaachwa. So Niko single. Nilikuwa nimesahau niko single. Nilikuwa nimesahau hii story. Si unaona venye miu hilaraka. It's been one week hata nisha move on. Hata nilikuwa nimesahau. Like maybe we can apply a real story. Just kuna real sasa story. You know, I was saying uh, you asked me about loving someone in isolation. You can't put someone in a vacuum and before QT was speaking I was saying you can't be everything for one person yeah. it's impossible they sometimes it's just easier to talk to bobby about something and sometimes it's yeah. easier to go to cutie for money mm. yeah. not talk to her yeah. because maybe that's how she's able to yeah. be available mm. and sometimes safin is the one who will give you a lift mm. she might not be yeah. the one who's yeah. there to talk yeah. but ukimpata akichomoka na gari ataku drop off hadi kwa nyumba yako 
That's how mm. people show up for each other in very different ways. And that's just how it is. But when you tunasema, not many people have wamefika your level ya kukwa able ku kukwa trustworthy, kukwa kukwa even to be able to trust. And that's what brings the issue. Eo to lack of transparency. Me, I'm a really big believer that these relationships can work. Friendships can work. Mm. These things can show up. <clears throat> I don't know about best friend is in because maybe now that's another level when you kitty and asema but then again i i'm able to keep such friends i'm able to keep friends of the other gender without making it anything else because of my awareness because of my transparency what, i'm what able be, to communicate what should be the boundaries or the principles yeah. that ought to guide friendship of the opposite sex mm. if you're in a relationship or if you're married what should be the main principles yeah we won't get apply or we won't get feel comfortable mtu wako aki apply kwa friendships nyako nazo na watu wengine wenye wanaka kama wewe the thing is <laughs> <coughs> the thing is ndashinda ni kiripiti yo kitu ya transparency na communication because even when i look me before mm. ni achwe ni tu siku communicate yeah. <laughs> siku sema naenda lunch huku kwa transparency kama tu kakaniona eh hey, ig udema menda lunch na bazeng mwingine <laughs> so sasa jioni kuulizwa where were you what were you tunaanza kukumbuka oh my god sema. you know it really because in my mind by the way mean kwa tunaenda kukula lunch for real mm. with the it didn't cross my mind because akili yangu haikuko but then you see kama hakuna uh, communication kwa relationship i'm just stipulate boundaries and unaona venye cute amekwambia 1 2 3 hizo ndio vitu yeye anataka mm. wewe kama lover wake kama hauwezi meet hizo boundaries if they're not feeling good for you safe for you you're, you're supposed to be able to say i wezi ama miss yezi kwa kwa relationship so easy stipulations and regulations they vary in every relationship and you're allowed to have standards of your own in the relationship kuna watu wengine rules zao ni don't like other girls pictures on instagram kuna mtu mwingine aezi hata jali hata ukienda vacation na de mwingine ye yeah, bora uko safe kwa sababu ya inaweza kwa juu ya trust inaweza kwa kwa sababu maybe hajali whatever the reason is vacation <laughs> people have yeah people have very different and you'd be surprised best yake wameenda vacation kuna watu wengine bora uko safe kuna watu wengine hadi <laughs> kuna watu wengine de maezi anasema usiwai kula food imepikwa na de mwingine mm. mimi napika chakula zote zenye unakula na hiyo kitu inaweza leta fight na kuna de mwingine napika angi hata ajali chali yake ukula food pikwa na nani yako tu sawa it doesn't mean that rules za huyu ni less than mm. za huyu it doesn't mean that relationship aiko sawa juu wameenda vacation it doesn't mean it's just about your own rules in your relationship be very transparent na naona watu wengi wanapenda sana kucheza na monogamous people wana tuchezea wana yeah <laughs> tunawaambia i am monogamous and then they start introducing those best friends who they I come know. with listen create these rules for yourself in your own relationships and how you do that is by getting to know yourself understand the things you like it's it's as simple as i don't like eating ugali so why are you cooking ugali in this house i don't like the smell i don't like how it looks or whatever but you can cook when i'm not home mm. it's just about compromise or like that's an example by the way i love ugali <laughs> it's just about like compromise mm. discussions <clears throat> laying out the rules for each other telling each other you know Bobby is a really good listener and I really enjoy speaking to her. I really enjoy talking to her. And you, you're my wife, but speaking to you is really difficult because any time I talk about nini nini a fight. So how can we solve this? How can we make sure that when I need to open up, I don't have to go to Bobby? How can we create a relationship where and if we can't, is it okay if i'm able to be transparent with you if we're able to have these discussions i'm able to be honest tell you where i was tell you what we were doing it's just about communication and even when these vulnerabilities arise you're supposed to talk about them because honestly do you yeah. think hautawai katia mtu mwingine tena tiju uko married do you think hautawai hautawai ona mtu let me explain let me explain do you think you'll never let me not say katia you're, you're, you're suggesting are okay but in real life how do you even begin to talk to your partner about you developing attraction to uh, in someone else why are they your partner if you guys you guys are forgetting the aspect of friendship because if this person is really you want them to be your best friend mm. 
you really unasema mm -hmm. yendo bestie wako asikuwe na besties wengine mbona asikuwe able kukuongelesha let me tell you these difficult discussions that everyone shies away from that seem taboo and scary because how do you tell your husband you saw a hot man you can you can't do that but then again these things happen you will so you're see suggesting someone. you should tell them. I'm not saying, <laughs> see, kila kitu yap yap at your own, ili yonade mhot, sifini ni si ivo, si mani shi ivo. Na manisha, times will come where you will see a beautiful woman. Mm. Times will come where you will see a beautiful woman. Mm. So I think there's many men who come here and they notice your beauty. Mm. It won't go further than them noticing your beauty. It's just acknowledging you're a very beautiful woman. Those things are very normal. This sh why, is it, why should it be a secret? If you're talking to your husband at home, it's something that can come up. Leo, nani aliniambia mimi mrembo? It's not it's if it comes listen, it <laughs> if it if you guys are really friends, mm. if it comes up in the conversation, yeah. tell you when you tell me such things it makes me feel jealous. Mm -hmm. Or it hurts my feelings. Mm -hmm. It's just discussion. Yeah, it's just talking, friendship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's nothing beyond. Then that shows, first of all, you're not ready to be mm -hmm. in any sort of relationship because you don't have the communication skills that are required. Because even with your mother, even with your father, even with your, even mm -hmm. with QT, mm -hmm. communications in a fuzzy way, flowing, in a fuzzy way. Flowing, oh, yeah, 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 open. Yeah, yeah. If a point to feel you need to hide something deliberately, mm -hmm. or you need to exclude that part of the communication, something is wrong, mm -hmm. and that's why you need to start asking yourself. Kuna gen, kuna vitu zingine zimata. How to end up kwambia mtu ati all the time watu wote wenye mwe kwambia weni mrembo amati ati lunch zote zenye umeenda amasiji ni 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 ni. It's si vo si mani si vo, but in the event that it comes up, it shouldn't really be a secret. Yeah. This is somewhere you, you should be, you're, you're saying mm. you should be comfortable. In Let them into your There's no relationships that exist because people are having them. Mm -hmm. If you're in a relation, this is something I normally test even my basic friendships with my friends. Because I know who I can tell mm. what. I know. Ata sisi uvenye tunakuanga tumejipanga kwa kili unajua Bobby sezi muambeo story. QT ni kimuambeo story and there's a jam. Mm. So it's just about how much can I disclose when I'm around them? And why do I always feel the need to hold back? And why am I holding back everything? Why am I hiding everything that's happening in my life? Mm. How come we don't have the friendship? That's how I gauge my friendships. Mm, because I don't like being around people who I can't be myself. Yeah. I can't speak my truth. I have to always be careful, hiding. No, no joke, Penevo, who can omit? Your story to come up siku ingine na utasahau uli omit. Then now it becomes a whole issue. You lied. Mm -hmm. And, and you which brings say. me to, to the next question we, we mm -hmm. need to look at, yeah? Mm -hmm. QT, you're, when you advocate wa, I am his everything. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> are you willing to be that vulnerable, mm -hmm. open, mm -hmm. transparent? Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes, I don't know whether it's true, you'll tell me your feeling. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when your friends, before you take it to the next level, mm -hmm. Vitu zo kuwa poa. Like, eh, because mm. auna ile accountability, <laughs> auna... If you're just friends, mm -hmm. unapata, you guys mkuna vibe tofauti. Mm -hmm. Kuna watu complain that once you take it to the next level, now mm -hmm. you, like, officially maybe um, dating, mm -hmm. things become a bit icy. Mtu ananza kuficha vitu zingine, anatrai mm -hmm. kushow up in their best version, na hapo tisa ndio shide inanza kutoke. Kutoke. So you find who they are when they are with their friends mm -hmm. and who they are when with they are with you, <laughs> two these are different two different things. people. So tuangale mm -hmm. is a dynamic sphere. And is it true. that they are not mm -hmm. comfortable in the relationship? Is it that people are not themselves? You're not willing to really be open, mm -hmm. transparent, like what Robert is saying. That's what may push somebody mm -hmm. to have a bestie or a prayer partner <laughs> outside when you have a chili and make all the mistakes. Most time in relationships, most times that we can date and say, you want to make a certain impression. You have to do it. You to do it. You have to make up Tuesday and you have to do But now, I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to do it. I have lip gloss in anger, by the way. But now, I have to do it. Every time, I have to do it. 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 
intentions. I just feel the need to look pretty. You get. Na siya tisiko pretty ni kiwa natural. But natuka tu kweka tuka touch up kanini. Natuka tu nikienda out na um say. Yani kuna venye tu nimedung. Adi nimeva heels. Mi saizi unayona nimeva sporty. Una get eh. But saizi ni kona tu heels nimetokelezea. Kuna ile tu impression tukaga kuonyesha mse. Na siya tia not being yourself. You just want to create this certain. Wanting to look pretty. I don't think you're an impression. Because that's what kisema mtu kipaka makeup. Haimanisha tu you don't want to be yourself. Inamanisha tu. Maybe makeup inakufanya tu confidence in enhance tu beauty yako. You're already beautiful. But unataka ku enhance. So sometimes, wakati una date na mtu ata the first time you meet. I mean, you have to date her. You have to dress up for a date. Kama ni movie, kama ni nini. Izi ni vitu zenyu jazo ya kufanya ile mkopeke yako. Mini kiwa solo ndo uyo nimepiga two round, nimeenda home. Nimeoga, nimechange, nimelala. But nikiwa na home say, Hakuna vile lava ile tisho yangu ya kudo. Hakuna vile lava ile satini yangu bone. You know, like, like, kuna vitu zenye. Lazima tu you have to do to impress. Yeah. Na maybe tukianza kuzoeana ni anze kuget into their space. Santa anza kumzoea in that kind of aspect. Una Josephine, ato wetu. Wacha tu let example fit. Hata tukianza kufanya show na ninyo. Of course, kuna venye tu lazima tuanze kujuana, tusome Ina rada. Mm. Ina take time kabla wanze kujua mtu. Then eventually, sasa mnaanza ku. Sasa mnaanza ku kwa tu freestyle. So kuna hiyo enye. Mkianza na na mse, if you are not friends, kuna hiyo lazima tu usome rada. Neto kusoma rada. Lazima usome rada uje umse what kind of a person they are. Anafanya ganini, anapenda nini vitu kama hizo. Then ukisha anza kumjo seme, ah, kumbe te udem ni mizi ya naga mbomo. Kumbe udem ni mhambo vitu kama hizo. So now you start opening up. But kuna wale wenye, you are already friends. You've been friends with them for like five years. Then all of a sudden, na kozile za, by the way, I would love to date you. Like, what do you think about us dating? Ono napo mshaju wana, kila kitu, you know everything thing about me nisha jilebea that unajua maboy watu wamenikatia unajua how i react mm. na kujaga na kwambia mimi by the way mispendi vile uboya na ni treat mm. so uko na hiyo added advantage yeah. you will not treat me the way that guy yeah. used unajua sasa uko na hiyo added advantage hiyo ndo uzuri ya ku date best friend because at the end of the day but we don't get that luxury all of us unajua sometimes unaenda gatu napatana na mse so sparks in a best friend Mina hizi vitu zo uenda mahali. Like hakuna vile watu wenda mahali. Best friend wenda mahali. Best friend wenda mahali. Hata ni pusho. Best friend. Either yeye ata develop feelings. Ama mimi nita develop feelings. At some point atanza kufeel. Ina itango unanza ga kufeel like overprotective. Aki anza kuenda ku out na wase wengine unanza kufeel. Eh na sikuizi udema na hang out na uu boy sana. Like mindo na fakwa niki hang out na ye. Na ni natural. Imagine tu ni vitu zenye zina happen. Jota mimi niki wana uu best friend. Aki pata dem friendship yetu automatically it changes. Tuliko tunashinda gana ye. Na kukuwa na anything. Please nota kukuwa na anything. But say ya mepata dem. Si atanza kuang out na dem wake. Every Friday day wako na manzi yake. Manzi yake anataka hiyo time. Maybe hata mandi anamame eh babe by the way need to go for a coffee date. Hiyo coffee date probably ni mini likuwa naenda ganayo. Nimeupatia tu example pwa mini nafanya show ya radio na maboy. Ha maboy tu watoka ganao show katu menda lunch na hii lunch inendagi na kwa tu something else tunaka. Tunanza kurant tunanza kusema mangori zetu, mastori zetu. Say imagine if Kwa ni kona boy, for example, aneza kosa kwa understand yo kitu. Aneza kosa kwa understand. Na ujua, atu nwase tunapiga nao show. I'm actually spending more time with my colleagues. Tumepiga nao show kutoka 10 at 1. Then from 1 to 4, bado ni kona utu ni metulia. So imagine automatically like 8 hours, ni mekua na wa say, tukiongea, tukiongea, tukiongea. Mtu wangu, ntam get ya time yake wapi. So you get, eh, na just kwa kugo back kwa hile nye ulikona sema like si uwezi penda mtu like in isolation you cannot actually do that but time yangu ni time yangu when I need you I need you when I need my time I need my time you go do whatever if you need your female besties that imuende now go for whatever it is you need to go kama likuwa na wedo samwea ya job kama likuwa na road trip samwea and then lakini when I need you Safin I need you and when I want you I want you to be there cause cause that time mimi nikona hizo needs wadi best friend yako peki yako ndo wakona needs mimi nikuwa hapa basi kufanya nini, I'm your person. But me will feel fitty sana kwa wale wasenyo na date my best friends. Wow, I think that is the most beautiful thing. We don't get the luxury. But sometimes ukionanga mtu pia ni mfiti and you'd love to settle. Take your time. Kama mtu ni mpua na unona hafa kuna kitu. Usi friend zone mtu sana. Ebu ongeyo. Usi friend zone mtu sana. Kwa ni unataka kuita mtu brother ati bro. Unataka kuita mtu mse bro. Na ye ni potential. Na ye ni potential. Na ye ni potential. Usi friend zone mtu sana but take your time, you say maga good things take time. Na yoni kitu saizi enye saizi ya kunaga yyo ati good things take time. Sa hii generation enye tuko na mali tuko, tumepata na wekesho usha move in within a week 
tushapara mtu hii tushaanza relationship so by the time nakuja kujua na mna realize vitu mob you needed to actually know this person cuz unajipata aya una jamii aya una kasirika <laughs> yani wewe go over the roof ukikasirika <laughs> like this is you when una shay ushay mse anakuambia guy yani siku anakujua ama time to really know someone but make your intentions clear si ati una take time with my friend zone alafu aende all right roberta is it possible that Actually, it's the girlfriend or the wife or the husband, like the person who you are with in a, in a relationship, aneza kukupush ukwena best friend ama prayer partner. Something that is just happening within the relationship can push you to find solace there. Not because you're cheating or you have any intention, but you find it the way you are talking about needs. Yeah, You just mm. find yourself, you know, there is room for you to even think about having that friend on board. Could it be f emanating from the relationship? I don't like blaming the person who when you anakosewa victim. Victim. <laughs> but like people do things because they want to. It, you could have whatever a million reasons, but at the end of the day, you went out and found a bestie because you wanted to. You went out and talked to someone else mm. because you wanted to. Doesn't matter what is happening in your relationship because you also have the option to stick it out and work on it. You also have the op option to make your wife your best friend. You have the option to do those things you're doing with that bestie to do them at home. And also, while I don't want to blame the victim, I also have to mention that it's very important that you're the kind of person who allows for space for people to be able to. It's very important that you're the kind of person who allows for space for people to be able to come to you. Don't be complaining that your man is out there talking to other people when at home you're not creating that space for them mm. to come to you. You have to be able, and this goes either way. I'm just using man because I beat men, but like. <laughs> <laughs> really? But <laughs> according to your relationship yeah. <laughs> make sure you're, you're you're the kind of person who creates an environment where people feel safe coming to you because even me for the longest time i would get mad about not even relationship things unashanga tu mbona ubeshta kwa pendangi vibes zako ama mbona kujangi mbona sa zile watu wanataka bezi ya ku hang out awasemangi kwako ni juu kwako akukaliki hakuna peace hakuna peace unaona kila saa tunaenda wapi to lie that in the context of your relationship yes are you are you peaceful are you are you creating yes be the kind of person who you kweli be the kind of mje hiyo na friendship guys so kila saa tunaenda kwa nani kwa robata kwa robani hakuna mtu anataka kwenda kwa cute hakuna amani so so make sure within and it's not just a home thing it's a self thing make sure you're the kind of person who people can come to make sure your home is a safe space for the people who love you to be able to come to and especially your partner you know we always extend grace to everyone else you forget that your lover your partner your husband your wife is the one who ends up bearing the the brute of all your anger your difficult day all the things you've been through you come to them and you toy this stress is out there forgetting that they are also human beings and honestly they just want to be listened to they want a safe space to be able to come home to they want to and even for my one on one sessions i've had so many men who book me to talk about how is this story mezisikia wana fika home wana pack gari kwa na state men lakini wana fika home wana pack gari kwa parking lot ana ka hapo mpaka 11 mulale ndo aingie kwa nyumba it's yeah it's you can you can say he he can easily blame the wife for not creating a safe space at home but he she should also be able to take um accountability and see how ana changia aje because why are you sit, sitting outside when you mm. have the option to come and be honest mm. come in the house and say every day i feel the need to sit outside in the parking mm. lot till 11 is this something we can fix because i need to enter the house by 6 bro i don't mean atka tu kuka kwa nyumba ni watch tv bana like take it easy is it is it to fix like yeah. let's work on this mm. which comes back to communication transparency friendship when you're dating people remember to actually love them unajua i think si si ukatiana tunasahau this is a human being mm. who has feelings you have to care about what they think si tu kukatiana si tu hizo feelings za romance 
minus that are you treating them the way you would treat an actual friend are you extending grace are you making sure you're a safe space for them to come to because i promise once you create that environment within yourselves do you think atakuana bambika ku come home do you think atawai kuana any thought at let me go hang out with QT till 5 p.m. Mm. Ikifika one. Ako, <laughs> the guy wants yeah. to go be with his mm. wife. Because so, so it's fun at home. You, you, you also, as, as the partner, you have to play. Mm. To make yeah, whatever true. it is you're asking for, mm. are you willing to create that environment for yeah, that, safe that space. person? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Even when wow. you're angry, mm. even when you're sad, even yeah. when you're going through things in life, please remember, as partners, it's very important you show each other grace. Mm. Because most times when you're me Sema, it's easy to love everyone else because you asked QT this question for why is, does it seem easier? It's because in an actual, re in an actual relationship, you have real issues. Mm. You have financial issues. You have to discuss kids. Are they going, which church will they go to? Are they going to school? But kwa friendship, mm. muna epuka hizo shida. Mm. Friendship ni fun. Mm. Muna discuss tu, tunenda wapi, tunafana nini, tuna nini. <laughs> Easy issues real the mm. homes ikifika. What to tend to bail? Mm. Now what to tend to ku find escape right. routes? So mm. it's not that it's easier to have friends and to go to your friends. It's just that real relationships need difficult discussions. And if you fix it, the grass is greener where you water it. Mm. If you fix it where you're at, mm. it works perfect. Mm. All right. Mm. Final thoughts. Thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Final thoughts, uh, whatever works for you, communicate to your partner, tell them, I don't like this, I like that, and if they really love you, imagine they will create that environment for you. Come to anakupenda, ata compromise, na ata sacrifice. But kama mtu anakupendi, excuses zitakuwa pale. You need to be happy and also to create that environment for your partner. All right. Mm -hmm. At QT Lady Josh, at Roberta Bobby, at Safin underscore Cheng, at Citizen TV Kenya is our official uh, social media handles citizen daybreak is our hashtag thank you so much for creating time for us each and every tuesday as we do this we'd like to continue having these conversations with you online and offline as well so keep us engaged suggest what you'd like us to talk about a question you have that is burning tell us we'd like to talk about that as well but for now that's how we wrap it up cj is not around today but hopefully he should be joining us next week asante sana bye bye for now